Okay friends, it's time to start replacing our headlamp assemblies. Firstly, you want to have the hood up. After that, we're going to come right along the inside of the engine compartment right here to this tab. Just go ahead and grab onto this tab, give it a little wiggle, and remove it. Let's go ahead and grab onto that headlamp assembly and then reach in through the engine compartment and carefully push it out and away. Obviously, we want to be very careful not to damage the paint of our car. Now with that removed, we have access to our wiring harness here. Go ahead and squeeze on this tab and then remove it from the assembly. After you remove it, inspect it. Make sure it's in good condition. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. That one looks fine, so we'll set it aside. And there it is, friends. Looking at the back of your original headlamp assembly, you're gonna see that you have this cover right here. If you just go ahead and pull on these tabs, you can grab onto this remove it and now you have access to all of your bulbs. To align your headlamp assembly you'd want to of course come to your alignment points located right here and right over there. Now it's time to install our brand new headlamp assembly. Let's go ahead and take that wiring harness. We're going to slide it right in and listen for a click. There it is. Give it a nice wiggle to make sure it's secure. The next thing we're going to do is carefully slide this into its area. Now let's take our pin. We're going to carefully slide it down and into the slot right down here. Slide it all the way down so it's locked in. And then just give it a little wiggle just to make sure that it's 100% secured. Okay, now let's test our headlight. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're gonna see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the axis point, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're going to see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is gonna be the same. You're gonna find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.